Today's component we'll be discussing is the Equalizer System Smart Level Touchpad. And there's a couple of things that we want to talk about to help troubleshoot. First, the Smart Level Touchpad, when you turn it on, all the lights turn on. So you'll have the power light operating, low voltage, excessive slope, ignition on, and engage park brake, and the four jack indicator lights. Now, if you have a touchpad that all the lights stay on and won't shut off, your issue is your system had a power surge. So what you want to do is on the back side of your touchpad, there's two electrical connectors. You want to unplug both of those connections, leave it unplugged for 15 to 20 seconds, and then plug them back in. Once you do that, that should reset your touchpad. And when your touchpad is reset, you should be able to turn it on and turn it off. Another issue you can have with your equalizer systems touchpad is when you go to turn the power on and it doesn't turn on. If that happens, you have a connector on the back side of your touchpad that has two reds and a black wire. This connection is your power and your ground. What you'll want to do is unplug that connection and see if you have 12 volts on the red and then ground on the black. If you do, then your equalizer system touchpad is bad. If you don't, then you'll need to go to the hydraulic pump to see if you have battery voltage at the pump. If you don't have battery voltage at the pump, then your issue is either with your house batteries or your resettable breaker, which is in between your house battery and the pump. Another thing to check at the pump, if you have power at the pump and you still don't have power at the Equalizer Systems touchpad, is there's a fusible link at the pump that you can take apart and check the 20 amp fuse. Your battery hot is this red connection and yellow wire at the contactor. And then this is your fusible link. Your fusible link has a 20 amp fuse in it, which you can remove and check to see if it's good. Another light I would like to discuss is the ignition on. The ignition on light should only come on when your ignition key is in the on position right before you start the coach. Now, if this light does not come on when your ignition key is on or the coach is running, you have an issue with the pink wire. You're not having voltage on the pink wire up to the touchpad. So you'll need to check that. Another light we need to discuss is your engaged park brake. Now, your engaged park brake is actually a ground signal. So when you engage your park brake, there's a 12 volt ground signal that comes up to the touchpad that shuts the light off. So when your park brake's engaged, the light's off. When you disengage your park brake, the light will come on. Now, like I said, this is a 12 volt ground signal that comes up the black wire with the yellow stripe. Now to run your equalizer systems touchpad, all you need to do is you go to your campsite, you park, you turn the touchpad on, which all the lights will come on and then shut off. And then to level your coach, you push auto level. When you push auto level, we have two different timing packages here at Equalizer Systems. One of them is called a pair plant. So when you hit auto level, the front two jacks are gonna come down, hit the ground, move the coach up slightly. Then the rear jacks are gonna go down, hit the ground, move the coach up slightly, and then it's gonna look for level. After it looks for level, then it's gonna move whatever jack it deems necessary to find level. Now another timing package that we have it plants each individual jack at once. So what it will do is it will run all four jacks for a set amount of time, it will stop. Then it will run the left front jack, hit the ground, move it up slightly. Then the right front, hit the ground, move it up slightly. Then the right rear, hit the ground, move it up slightly. Then the left rear. And then after all four jacks are planted, then it will look for level and it will move whatever jack it deems necessary to find level. Now this timing package we also use on our diesel pusher coaches. So when you hit auto level, it will also dump the airbags. So when the jacks are first coming down, the airbags are deflating as well. So your coach will be as low to the ground as possible. Now another light that's on your equalizer systems touchpad is excessive slope. Now if you hit auto level and the excessive slope light comes on after it's done leveling, that means the coach could not find level. Now there's a couple of different reasons why this can occur. 
One reason is because the slope that the coach is on is just too much. So when the jacks fully extend, it still couldn't find level. So it will say excessive slope. Another reason why it will go excessive slope is if you hit auto level and then you get up and you move around inside your coach, it will go to excessive slope because the touchpad actually has the leveling, says, the leveling sensor built inside of it. So if you're moving around inside of the coach while it's trying to auto level, it's sensing your movement instead of the jacks. So when you hit auto level, please sit still. Another thing that can happen when you have excessive slope is you can have a jack that's moving when it's not supposed to. So I'll give you an example. So let's say you have all your jacks retracted right now and you run the manual arrow front down. That should only run your front two jacks. But let's say you have a rear jack moving. If this occurs, that means you have a valve open at the pump or you have a valve that's bad at the pump. So what we do to double check that, we do what we call a hose routing test. In a hose routing test, we retract the jacks completely. We push and hold the down arrow for the front jacks, run them down for 10 seconds, look under the coach and see what jacks moved. Then we retract the jacks and we run the down arrow for the rear jacks and check to see if the front jacks moved. Then we retract the jacks one more time and we hit the right side. And when you hit the right side arrow, it should be the right front and the right rear only. If you have a jack moving that shouldn't be moving, then either you have a valve that's open or a bad valve. Now, for our system to retract the jacks, all you have to do is hit all retract. The pump will retract the jacks completely, and once they're retracted completely, the pump will build pressure, so it will make a different sound like it's squealing. And then once it sees 1800 PSI on the pressure switch, it will shut the lights off of the touchpad and then continue to run for a few more seconds and then shut the pump off. If you have any other questions about the Equalizer Systems touchpad, please visit us at equalizersystems.com.